and welcome to Westside Christian College's dedication ceremony for 2013. My name is Casey Hogan and this is my fellow MC, Christian Atkins. Christian and I have the privilege of serving our college as vice captains this year. We would like to extend a very warm welcome to the parents, friends, relatives, staff and students who are here today. I would like to thank you for coming as we dedicate this year to our Lord and induct our Year 12 students into their roles as seniors and leaders in 2013. Would the Year 12 students please stand? In accepting my position as a senior student of Westside Christian College, I pledge with God's help to strive to Uphold my college's class values. Wear my uniform correctly. Care for and encourage all other students. And work diligently with my God-given talents and abilities. In receiving my senior's badge, I understand and accept the responsibilities entrusted to me. May God help me to be faithful to this pledge. She's best known for her crazy antics, one of a kind attitude to life and delicious brownies. Her diligent service within the college is an inspiration to us all. She is an amazing friend to everyone and it will truly be an honour to serve alongside her this year. Would you please join me in welcoming our female college captain for 2013, Letitia Paulo. Good morning, Mr Leverton, Mr Meadows, teachers, parents, and my fellow peers. It is an absolute honor that I stand here before you as the girls' college captain, and I'm privileged to speak on behalf of the graduating class of 2013. As a newcomer in grade eight to Westside Christian College, I found my journey here to be both challenging and rewarding, and I can't believe that I stand here at the verge of the final chapter of my schooling years. Since then, I've witnessed the loving guidance and care expressed to us through our incredible teachers under the powerful leadership of Mr. Meadows and Mr. Leverton. From the beginning of my journey until now, I've been blessed with an uplifting year level, full of encouragement and support, and I count it a privilege to complete my last year alongside the incredible people I have befriended over the years. This year will prove to be quite a challenge as we embark on our final chapter at Westside. And as so, I believe it is necessary to support each other as much as we can in the hope that we will achieve our absolute best in the end. In saying this, I believe strongly in this year to be full of encouragement and support from our incredible parents and exceptional God-given teachers as they lead and guide us through our final year. As senior students at Westside Christian College, I believe it is our duty to lead by example exhibiting the Christian morals and values with which our college places great importance. An encouraging Bible verse in relation to our roles as seniors can be found in 1 Timothy 4 verse 12. It reads, Don't let anyone look down on you because you are young, but set an example for the believers in speech, in faith, in love, in purity, and in life. I think. Yeah. Amidst the many roles that we as the leaders of the school are presented with, I believe this passage captures our greatest roles. That's to be examples. As a grade, we believe in the importance of providing positive influence for those around us and eagerly accept the opportunity to love and mentor the future leaders of this great school. Such a feat has been deemed a priority this year as we work towards many new mentoring programs in which will greatly benefit the leaders of the coming year and provide us as a grade with an opportunity to serve the college. Many of the goals that have been laid out by the student body for the remainder of the year will include the important involvement of the younger grades, placing great value all that they, over all that they have set out to accomplish. By doing so, we hope to leave our mark in this school through the sharing of experiences 
and the encouragement of future leadership. Our vision for this year is to see unity within the year level, as the responsibilities of leading the college cannot be done alone. As Matt, Christian, Casey and I strive to lead this college to our absolute best, there will be times when our strength and best efforts will come short due to the physical and emotional demands of our senior year. It is encouraging to know then that we are not alone and are able to rely on the incredible support which is so strongly evident within the college body. As a Christian college, it is understood that physical strength cannot always, is not always enough and as so, we aim to diligently seek God in our times of hardship and look to him to provide us with sufficient strength to complete all that needs completion. So to my fellow peers, I wish you all the best for your last year and pray that as we move together, equipped with the strength and grace provided by God, that we will fulfill everything that he has called us to do. I pray that we will receive the fruits of our labor as we journey through this final year together, full of challenge, excitement, and the unexpected. Thank you. Thank you, Letitia. It is my privilege to introduce this year's boys captain. He is an awesome young man of God, a promising leader, and just a top bloke. Please welcome a good friend of mine, Matthew Baldwin. Thank you, Christian. Good morning, Mr. Meadows, Mr. Leviton, teachers, guests, parents, and peers. I am privileged to have this opportunity to speak to you for the class of 2013 as the college captain. Where have the years gone? It wasn't that long ago that I remember eating dirt and playing in the sandpit. But here we are as leaders of Westside. We have finally made it to the top of the school. It hasn't sunk in yet, but I'm sure as the weeks progress that we will start to realise that we have officially become the seniors and this is, that, and this is our final year of our schooling career. We have all been privileged to have a schooling life at Westside. We are all thankful to the teachers and staff who put an extensive amount of time into helping us when we need. I believe that we were not here at Westside, we would all be totally different people. Through the years, I think it has become obvious to us and to other grades that we have all become really close. And it's sad to think that we only have one year left together. But before we leave and go our separate ways, we still have one final mission left to achieve. That is to be role models to the grades below us and to lead our college to new heights and, of course, to finish our final year. I know that this year will be challenging for us in many ways, but I believe with the support of each other and from the support of teachers and parents that we will, that we will be able to finish grade 12 and finish it well. An analogy that I thought represented us well was a dog sled team. The dogs in a dog sled team show amazing teamwork. Each dog has their own part to play, in, as each of us do this year. Firstly, there are your lead dogs. These dogs are trained to lead all the dogs in the team and guide them to do what the musher wants. Next comes your swing dogs. These dogs help guide the rest in turning the sled. They make sure that the movement is smooth and that every dog is in sync. Team dogs assist with not only turning, but the pulling of the cargo. And the wheel dogs, which are the biggest, bear most of the weight as they are pulling at the back of the sled. Just like these dogs, it's obvious that we all have our part to play in the team of the 2013 grade 12s. This year, Letitia, Casey, Christian and I will be your lead dogs. We will be leading from the front and pulling and guiding with all our efforts and capacity. But it's obvious to us that we will not be able to pull the sled by ourselves. It is clear to some of you where you fit into the analogy, and to others who don't have a clue, it'll come in time, because it'll take all of us to pull the sled and get across the line. This year, it'll be our responsibility to use the gifts and talents God has given us to help each other get across the line and bear the load. There will be times where others will need to step up and become the lead dogs, and through that time, we will all need to pull together and show encouragement to these people. It is our vision for the grade 12s to be united and to help our peers when they are in times of need, and to also encourage and stand fast in Christ, who will be our musher and show us the way to go. The leadership team and I all have one idea in common, and that is to lead by example, as Christ has led us. We will serve our college with as much dedication as we can, 
and help not only the peers in our own grade, but students in younger grades. We will en endeavour to do as much as we can this year to help it run smoothly. We have a goal to leave our own unique stamp on the college, and it has been agreed that we can do this not only physically, but emotionally, by impacting the lives of students together. In Ecclesiastes chapter 4, it says, Two people are better off than one, for they can help each other succeed. If one person falls, the other can reach out and help, but someone who falls alone is in real trouble. God has blessed each of us with each other. If we work together as a team and pull the sled together, we will be able to achieve great things with God and finish our schooling career together. Thank you.